Hi everyone, Mr. Stearns here. I want to start back where probably we should start. Right back here at the beginning. What do you think? All right, evidence folder seven is almost ready to turn in. Let's take a look, see at this. Hopefully I got the right one. Yep, it's yellow. That's my most recent one as of today, the 13th of April. Got my checklist for success. This is what I absolutely want to go back down through. Um, I want to make sure I have all of these things in here. Make sure every single thing is done. Okay. Every single thing. Don't forget, you've got your reflection sheet down here. Not loving how this formatted. You might want to just download it and then answer it in a doc or a Word document and then upload that into your um, evidence folder. Okay, I have to have this reflection sheet. That's critical to your grade. Okay, and these are my guest grades. Okay, they're going to be about that. So it looks like construction is going to be 50. Uh, your test is going to be about 100. Independent assignment is 100. And then your project uh, presentation is 50. So about 300 points total, two total grades. Okay, less than 19 test grade and your evidence folder seven. Does that make sense? Okay, so your project becomes part of your evidence folder seven grade. Okay, it's not in a, it's not a standalone grade. It's part of the evidence folder. Okay, so I wanted to make sure you understood that. Okay, I'd like to have your signature and your parent signature. Of course, they can just type it in. We can trust each other, right? We got all this stuff going on. All right, so you finish the geo challenge which is the first thing it says, Geo Challenge. We read Lesson 19, did all our ISN, uh, corrected it and uploaded it. All of our Geo Challenge has been corrected and uploaded. And then we made a decision about which lesson we wanted to do, 20, 21, 22, 23, or 24. The project that you made had to help you answer the essential question. After you did the project, you're gonna make a video or a movie of you and your project, and you're gonna explain what you did, okay? And the way I'm going to explain it is by going back to my evidence folder, and I'm gonna go down to this project sheet because I know that this worksheet, this and this are, these two things are exactly the same, these three things, okay? So this is your step-by-step, -step. okay? This is a PDF version, and then there's a doc version. Okay, so when you actually do your project, this is like your checklist for success just for the project. Okay, when you make your movie, answer these questions. Lesson and essential question that you chose to do. What's the essential question? 99% of you are going to do your research on the essential question. If you have a better question, come see me. Okay, but I would expect most of you are going to do that. What project did you make to answer the question? Again, I'm telling you what I need. I need you to show me that you understand the answer to the essential question, or at least a reasonable answer. So what's the project that fits that best? Not all projects work for all assignments. So what's the best project for this given assignment and the lesson you did? Think about that. Have you been using me? What do I see? What do I think? What do I wonder? That's helpful during these projects. Oh, what did you find most interesting or intriguing or wondering? Why do you think the author of this textbook thought this was important to study in school? Anything else that you would like to share or talk about? It's pretty open-ended, isn't it? Tell me how you did it. How did you come up with it? What did you struggle with the most? But if you're looking to get your simplest day, at least these five things. I'd like your video to be between like, I don't know, three and seven minutes, three and eight minutes, two and eight minutes, somewhere right around there. Okay, not 50 minutes, that won't work. 30 seconds won't work, but you get the point. All right, don't forget, bottom line, in the end, you're turning in everything in your school, e schoolology, excuse me, e-portfolio. Between April 27th, and April 30th by 9 p.m. Anything after 9 p.m., 9 p.m. plus one second on the 30th, it's late. You have a late penalty. Does that make sense? 
Okay, we're finishing up my lesson and moving on. See you guys. Good luck. I hope everything goes well. I can't wait to see your work.